the Lord. I know, right? Look, my entire week has been thrown off. I had the blessing of visiting my daughter last weekend, so I wasn't able to attend my home church. So I didn't come to church here last Sunday, so I missed out. And then I get back, and then Tuesday we don't have service because of sickness. Man, I've been lost all week. Oh, I got a few announcements for you guys. I'd like to thank the Maori family for providing the meal for Breaking Bonds tonight. Thank you, Dan. Dan. Thank you very much. Uh, we have openings on Meal Train. If you'd like to get on the Meal Train, you can do it on Facebook by clicking the link below, or you can get with Sean Embry, and he will be happy to show you how to sign up on Facebook. Uh, we will be doing Breaking Bonds Kids tonight. It will be after the graduation. We'll have it after the graduation they'll be able to be dismissed to do their thing and i'm happy to announce that joe is graduating tonight huh? it's awesome to see that man so powerful and with that i'm gonna turn it over to you man you guys ready to worship Break every chain, oh God, you have 
Jesus, nobody like Jesus. God Almighty, we thank you so much, God. Because when the rest of everyone else leaves us, God, you don't leave us. You love us. You've always loved us. And you continue to love us, God. Lord, especially, God, especially when we don't deserve your love, God, which I never know when that is, God. I, you're so good to us, Father. God Almighty, right now, Lord, as we take time to give back a portion of what you've so richly blessed us with, Father, in offering, Lord, I ask that you would bless it in the name of Jesus and that you would do mighty things with it for your name and your kingdom. It's in your name we pray, God Almighty, amen. Blessed assurance, Jesus is
washed in his blood and what he did for me on Calvary is more than enough I trust in God my Savior the one who will never fail he will never fail
more time. Thank you. Can you feel the spirit here tonight? Can you tell we've been off for a week or so? Ready to get back in church? <laughs> uh, welcome uh, our Grace United, United Methodist Church. They're here visiting us tonight. Yeah. Uh, thank you all for coming here tonight. Uh, I'm so thankful that uh, I love it when churches come together, when churches uh, uh, doesn't try to stand off off by themselves. You know, uh, this is an amazing church, and I'm so thankful to be a part of this church. I'm so thankful to be a part of all of these ministries. I'm not just a part of Breaking Bonds. I get to be a part of all the ministries. Yeah, right? We're all in this together. We do this together. Uh, <clears throat> Tonight, tonight's special night. We love graduation night, and I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful for uh, Mr. O.J. Where's O.J. at? Yeah. Uh, come on up, O.J., you and your family. Come on up. We're going to play his video. And... Who's speaking? Who's speaking tonight? Can we play his video? I've been wandering through the desert Ain't seen a cloud in forever over me But I believe your rain is coming mm. Yeah, I've been hanging on the high hopes Cause you're the one who's making dry bones come to life You're the light I put my trust in Every word you say is gonna come true You will lead me to the promised land Everything you say is gonna happen Even though I haven't seen it yet I will build a boat in the sand Where they say it never rains I will stand up in faith I'll do anything it takes With you in, in my sails Your love never fails and fades I'll build a boat in the desert place And when the flood and the water starts to rise Yeah, I'll ride the storm 
Cause I got you by my side And you win in my sails Your love never fails It fades I'll build a boat so let it rain OJ, what a video, huh? Man, I, I said this in class earlier today because it was a true thought me and Cody had. When you came into this ministry, we did your interview and we accepted you. And me and Cody's walking out to the parking lot after they loaded your stuff up. And I'm like, man, I hope this guy don't die on the job. <laughs> Cody's like, me too, man. I hope he's with you. <laughs> I'm like, gee, thanks. But the fact of the matter is, as little did we know that, man, you had the heart and the experience to work circles around a lot of us. It didn't matter what we done, where we went, what was going on, man. You was, you was ready to work. You, you was ready to go. And I seen you so into these guys with the same attributes, with, with, with the same tenacity is that, you, that you go on these jobs with, man. You, you was talking to these guys. You was giving them life experiences. You were speaking from the heart. You know, and the good thing about that is, is you've got a lot of life experiences to share and many more to go through. The, the biggest blessing that I see in your life right now is that young man right there will never have to know a pawpaw that had any problems. Right. You know? I'm, I'm excited to have you as part of the team. I'm excited to work with you every day. And I love you, Joe, and I'm proud of you. Congratulations. Hey, we loved having you uh, seven months as a resident. We, we look forward to what the future holds. And like I told you this morning, I know that means the world to you. Um, OJ always was easy to find anytime we went somewhere. Anytime we was getting ready to leave, if we was missing OJ, all we had to do was look for where the women were. <laughs> you, you could always see he was up there hugging up on him. So... <laughs> Amen. Hey. 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 Sorry about that, but hey, there you go. Know. Hey, hey. I don't. I love you, OJ. Hey, old Joe, uh, we was uh, roommates for, what, probably f four months, and there was times early on I, I said, I ain't going to make it, and he's like, oh, yeah, you will. You're going to make it. Just chill out. But you, you shared a lot of wisdom. You was the, the person in the basement I turned to for wisdom uh, when I was in my crazy thinking, and and uh, I appreciate that. Uh, uh, meant a lot, and um, that little guy. You, I mean, I, I had never failed. We get to talking about the before and why and where you are now, and tears would run down your face when you get to talking about that little guy. And so, uh, I just thank you for pouring in um, to the guys that were not quite sure uh, behind you. Love you, OJ. I look forward to being with you for another. A little less than two months. <laughs> OJ, I love you. You know that. Um, man, you're one of, the, one of the coolest guys I've met. 75% of the time while I was in the house, it was just us giving, us, giving each other crap. But then the other 25% were some of the, like, the lessons that I learned from you, man, are I'll never forget. Um, Law and Order Monday nights, man, just knowing what we're doing on Monday nights, every Monday night, you know, <laughs> Law and Order Monday, me, you, and Justin, so, and you survived uh, Justin and I locking you in the uh, laundry room a couple times, uh, so we, we've had a lot of fun, man, and I can't wait to see uh, what the future holds for you, your family, and I know you're, I know you're super proud of yourself, and you deserve to be, man, so I love you, man. OJ, I just want to tell you I love you, man. You're one of seven guys left that was here when I got here. And um, you've, you've really helped me by staying calm. You went with me on my hardest day, just me and you. Um, note to self, don't wear shorts in the courtroom, you know. 
but you were there, man, and, and you were very supportive, and you knew what not to say, and you knew what to say. We had lunch, and we got through it. So thank you for being the friend that you've been, man. Um, I love you. Ouch. Hey, man. Um, I just want to say uh, a little story. When the first time we clicked, we were stuck in a room painting. And I don't know if this is paint fumes, but we ended up seeing like Waylon Jennings all day, <laughs> you know. But that's yeah, that's uh, that's OJ though. You're like um, you, no matter who you're around, you always seem to be in high spirits. And I've always looked to that, and I think that's the right attitude to have in something like this. It's just yeah, just always be happy, and you always were, and uh, it always put me in a good mood. Always got something smart to say in the mornings when I walk in the room, but it's all right. But I don't want you to—I don't want you to change that. I want you to keep going forward. Um, you did it for the right reasons this time, and good luck to you. And I love you. All right. What's up, OJ? You're like the old grumpy grandpa I never had. I love you, bro. Me and OJ, the whole time he was in the ministry, we, we worked together every day. Every day we worked together. I brought him out there building grain bins, and he would scare me, like Fish said. Like, I, he was, every time I looked at him, he was just so fragile. I felt like, don't, don't, don't outdo yourself, but he's stubborn. <laughs> he's, he's stubborn. He's going to do what he wants to do. But I'm proud of you, bro, and I love you. You're a big influence on my journey here. And you're my best friend and my brother, and I believe in you. I love you. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> Man, I just want to say I love you, and I'm proud of you. And uh, you helped me through a lot. You were there for me some rough times, and you know what I'm talking about. And uh, I, just, I just ask you to be there for these guys like you were there for me. I love you, man. Poppy, uh, it's been really awesome getting so close to you, you know. Uh, you've been there for me through a lot of rough times, from the beginning of me being here and stuff. And uh, I remember uh, the day I got baptized, you come up to me and my wife and my son, and you grabbed a hold of us just like we were your own family, and you had tears in your eyes and told me you were so proud of me. And uh, right then and there, I knew that you'd be family forever. And uh, it's just, you're an awesome dude. Uh, I like getting my rides to work in the morning with you, you know, even though I get yelled at for spitting down the side of your truck. But uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a laugh a minute being around you and always good times. Love you, OJ. OJ, man. Where'd you learn to be so cool? I gotta know. For real, man. Hey, uh, you, uh, when I met you here, you know what I mean? You, you the same dude now as you are, you know, a resident of facilitator. Uh, like I know you, man. You're, you know, my, uh, older generation before me, man. The people I look up to, just like, you know, I look way up to you, dude. You're 100 feet tall. Uh, you, uh, I remember we went down to Bloomfield, down your hometown, and uh, the ice cream parlor we stopped at. There wasn't a soul in there, didn't know you, respect you. Every car we passed had a hand hanging out the window. I think Fish even said, OJ, we gotta get back and for too long. Don't stop and talk to everybody you know, or everybody knows you. It's not who you know, it's who knows you. But uh, man, I just tell you what, dude, you, uh, you're a dying breed of dude, man. They don't cut that cloth of man no more. And, uh, it, you're in, you're so still into us, man, and like every, I think everybody around a better dude from knowing you, and uh, that's how that passes on, man, through that young and there, and just I don't know, man, I just love you so much, dude, and uh, it's been a privilege and honor to to know you, and uh, well, I'm just look forward to next year with you. Hey, man, love you, brother. Um, 
it's obvious that you can talk to anything. Um, so, to, mommy, mommy, okay. Oh. Okay. Say one thing. Tell the rabbit to me. Tell the rabbit. Say. I love you, Poppy. Be back. That's how I used to sound when I was drinking. <laughs>
no doubt. And uh, I'm enjoy. I'm going to enjoy this next ride in my life. So I love each and every one of you. And so thank you. I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful that uh, we're on the other side of COVID. I didn't know COVID was still a deal until Clayton showed me last Tuesday that it was. <clears throat> I'm, I'm thankful. I'm thankful we're here today. Uh, I'm thankful for we lost uh, we lost a, a couple men during this COVID. So I'm thankful for you men that are still here. Right? I'm thankful. Uh, I pray for them guys that left, but I'm gonna focus on you guys that are still here, because that's uh, I, I truly believe everyone in this ministry right now is sold out. I, I, I do. I believe every one of you are sold out. You've got uh, amazing families around you. I mean, look at this, Elijah. Look at that. Look at that family, huh? Right. I'm so thankful that you ladies are still here. You're doing what you said you was going to do, right? You're going to finish this program. <clears throat> if you're fighting it right now, something's going on in your head, you need to find someone, talk to them. Don't lean on your own understanding, right? <clears throat> so I was led to ask Legend. He's going to come up and give us a devotion tonight. I asked him to speak. I just I, I like to put people on the spot. I really don't give them too much notice. And he just jumped right up. And here's Legend, Jocelyn. <laughs> My name's Legend. Of course, thank you, Ryan. Um, he didn't give me a lot of notice. Luckily, I was up at 3 a.m. last night, and uh, the Holy Spirit told me what to talk about, and that's what I want to talk about. Uh, we were we were on a, a job yesterday, I think, doing Fish's uh, sister's roof, and I said to the guy, we were having a conversation about something different, and I threw it out there, as I'm apt to do. You know, I like to throw things out just to see how people react to them, to see if my reaction is, is what I hope is correct or if I'm just a weirdo. So I get other people's opinion like that sometimes. It's about 50-50. And uh, I said, guys, I was watching YouTube last night, and I seen um, a, show, a video about the Holy Spirit. It said we should invite him in. We should be cognizant, um, that tell him that he's welcome in our hearts. Tell him we love him. Let him know that we trust him. Uh, and uh, the gospel says that when Jesus, on, right before the ascension, he said, you fellow stay here. I'm sending the Holy Spirit. I'm sending the power of heaven for you to keep, for you to use. And... Uh, he did that. He did that. And he gave us a great power to use that I think some of us sleep on. And I think we have to be very careful that we don't forget that we have a part of God in us. Yes. And that means all my friends are superheroes, actually. You know? They, yes, Batman and Robin. We can, we, I rode with Batman and Robin tonight. Uh, anyways, I mean... The, Really, though, if you, if you think about yourself like you have the Holy Spirit in you, if you know and if you trust that you have the Holy Spirit and you carry it with you, then you will think about the things you say, the things you do, and the way you act and the way you treat other people. Because I don't want to offend God. I don't want to offend the Holy Spirit giving this uh, responsibility, giving this gift of having the Holy Spirit in me. Then I, I want to feed that. We, if we feed that, in, I mean, it is love. That is the other thing that he gave us. He gave us the commandment. He said, this is what I want. I want you to love each other, and I want you to do it with the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is the spirit of love. God is love, and nothing is love without God. If you don't live a life of love, then you don't live a life of God. This is, this is what we are supposed to do. And it occurred to me that I had missed something. I had missed the Holy Spirit. And... So I digress. So I say to the guys, hey, I've seen this about the Holy Spirit on YouTube. And we went on about our business. A day later, 
the fellas come to me and said, Ledge, that thing you said about the Holy Spirit, um, let's talk about that. Because it grabbed us, and we've been thinking about it ever since. I said, I bet that's the Holy Spirit talking to us. You know? <laughs> yeah. These are my brothers, and these are why they're superheroes, because they, they, uh, they, they're open to the truths that we find together. I love every one of you guys and you girls, you know, because these are truths that we can all find together in our ministries. We are set aside, and it is such a wonderful thing. I, I read a book once. The title of it was, uh, let's see, it was A Heartbreaking Work of Staggering Beauty. That is kind of what Breaking Bonds and Jeremiah House is like. We did lose three guys, you know, and that is heartbreaking. But it just rocks you to your knees when you find the, the, the Holy Spirit, when you find it, you know, and you realize that he's there. And maybe there was something that I missed. It says right there in the New Testament, he left him with us. He's been watching us the whole time, probably why he guided us to where we're at, you know. Each of us is led by the same thing, you know. It's love and it's a spirit that the Lord left with us because Jesus did not want us to be alone. And we are never alone. We have sisters in Christ. We have sisters in, in our church, in our ministries. I have brothers for life, superhero brothers, you know. And each of us has the power of love to show to each other, and we do it, and we continue to do it, and it, and it is staggering with the things that we accomplish together that we were not capable of without Christ and without each other. I've learned so much, and I still have so much to learn, and it, but now I'm, I'm happy because I know that I'm not an idiot. I just wasn't learned. I, I have lack, um, the ignorance is not an excuse anymore. So. There's that, you know. <laughs> I'm happy not to be ignorant to it because be, to be ignorant to it was not to be aware of the blessings that it brings, you know, and so many blessings. I mean, I don't know about where you guys are at, but if you're careful, let it rain it down so hard around here, you'll get somebody else's blessing fall down on you. There's just so many of them, you know. I think I got one of Fish's blessings yesterday, and I was, it wasn't even for me. It just hit me, you know. <laughs> I was standing too close to him. I love you, man. That's what, that's what I was led to talk about when Brian, or when Ryan asked me to, to speak tonight. <laughs> he mentioned an altar call. And I don't know what an altar call is. I've came to him, you know. <laughs> I know this, though, that uh, we all have that little prayer room in our hearts, a little war room in our souls. And we pray with each other constantly. You know, we, the men in Breaking Bonds, hopefully you ladies all do the same thing. We will stop in mid-sentence. And somebody says, hey, will you guys pray for, yeah, we'll do that right now. That's what we'll do. That's what we do. We pray right now for things that need to be prayed for. We ask in the, in the with the Holy Spirit's help, we ask God to listen to us, help interpret us. To, to the Lord, the things we don't understand, the moanings, the groanings of our heart that we cannot even say ourselves, he interprets for us. And for, for those of you who haven't become acquainted with the Holy Spirit yet, know that he knows you very well and that he is only waiting for you to recognize him, to welcome him in, to say, I do love you, I do trust you, I do want you to dwell in me. Please guide my thoughts, please guide my steps and help me to guide my friends. Help me to guide my friends to joy, to laughter, to understanding. And let it take courage from me through you, you know. And hopefully, if somebody finds Christ in your words, when you're led by the ghost, then you know that you've done well. You have been a faithful servant, and, and your reward in heaven will be very great, very, very great. You know, and that is what we're all learning to do is get there, win that race. And, man, when we're doing it, just drag our buddies along. And the people that we don't know, if, if, there's, if there's somebody at a gas station that's on the ghost at 6 a.m., 
or an old friend that I really couldn't stand. But the Holy Spirit said, let's go pray for him. And Fish looks at me like, I thought you didn't. I thought you. Yeah, well, that's what I'm supposed to do. That's what I'm led to do. I'm led to do things better than I've done before. Do not want to be the person that I was before because what I am becoming now, what he says I am, is something that's great. It's something that's beneficial to everybody around me. Something that brings me joy. It is a man worth being and a life worth living. And I just want to tell you guys all tonight that the Holy Spirit was, uh, was a big part of that, that I might have been neglecting a little bit. So I asked him. I welcomed him in. And I told him I loved him. And I, and I, I, I trusted him. And within a very short time, my friend said, hey, what you said spoke to our hearts. So I know it was true. So I wanted to say it again to all of you. Open your heart and welcome him in. And be, be comforted by him. Life is not easy, but you are not alone in it. Life is not all flowers and ice cream. <laughs> flowers and ice cream are pretty good, you know? <laughs> Take comfort in the fact that Christ did not leave us alone. He's up there, and he sent part of himself to be with us every day, in every situation, in every thought. Share that with your friends. Do you have superheroes for friends, too? Do amazing things with it. Don't, don't be stymied by what you think you're capable of. You have God in you do amazing things for each other. Do amazing things with each other, you know. And now, man, I do. I, I really do amazing things when I look in one of my friend's eyes and I see that man just light up and say, oh, I don't have to be that guy. I don't have to be that guy. What do you want to do today, Pinky? I want to take over the world. I want to take over the world. We can take over the world, and we should. We need to. You know, there are so many people out there suffering. There are so many people out there who, who think they're alone. They don't know the Holy Spirit is there. I mean, you have to tell them. You have to show them by, by the way you live, by the words you use and by the walk that you walk you have to tell them with love and you have to tell them with kindness first of all you have to tell yourself love yourself like God loves you, you know, he probably loves us a lot more than we love him you know we would like to think that we are neglected because we are not worthy fact is he's done an awful lot of things just for us made this world, he made these hearts, these minds, these souls. He loves us, and he really loves us unconditionally, you know, and that is a very special thing that we should all appreciate very much, and love him back, you know. I love you all, and I thank you all for listening to me, and uh, boss, I still don't know how to do an ultra call, so.
for OJ. See, you don't alleging legend, you don't give yourself enough credit. You do know how to give an altar call. You just did. Huh? Uh -huh. You just did. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Proud of you. You know, uh, <clears throat> see if you can figure out who this is. Tell all my kids I love and miss them. Tell OJ I'm proud of him. I love him and I'm excited that he's sticking around. Sure wish I could be there. First graduation I've missed. Trust me, she's your biggest ally. She lets me rant and rave. This is what I'm going to do. This is how I'm going to handle this. And she corrects me. Be thankful for her. I'm sure thankful for her. Um, thank you for all the uh, prayers. Thank you for uh, everyone that's asked about how her mom's doing. Her mom's going to be all right. That's what Her mom's going to be all right. Right? We, we have the great physician. We have the, we have the way maker. We have the miracle worker. And he's going to take care of it. Right? Everything happens for a reason. If we believe in him, if we continue to seek him out, He'll take care of us in all things. He'll never put us through anything more than what we can handle. So thankful for all of you. Um, a couple announcements. We got Beauty for Ashes this Sunday night. Mike Vipperman's going to be speaking. It's going to be a great time at Beauty for Ashes. Please come and join us. We'll be over there. We've got a big event, uh, um, August 26th, uh, the Recovery Rally. That's going to be amazing for Lifesavers. We're going to raise money for them. Um, if you have any questions, get with us. Get with Brian and Carrie. Uh, they would, uh, they have, uh, uh, do you have tickets here? They have tickets here. They're giving away a Key West vacation, giving you a $3,000 spending limit. I am going to win it, but we still got to get them to put money in. Thank you all. Please come back. Come back next week. Dustin's going to graduate next week unless I can talk him into maybe doing something different. I'm working on him. So come back next week. It's, uh, we'll have another great night. Thank you, Andy. Thank you for uh, answering the call. Thank you so much. Did you all have a good time tonight? If you're trying to get in here tonight, I'm excited for you. Your, your new life starts tonight. If you truly want something different, you can have it. It's not going to be easy, but it'll be worth it. I promise you that. 
we're in the God of restoration. We restore families, we restore lives around here. You're getting ready to be a part of it. I love you. I love you. Who, uh, who, Kevin, come here and pray for us. Thank you, Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the presence of the Lord. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Jesus, you're precious. We admire you. Jesus, I want you to put protection over these people tonight as they go out. And as we continue to do your work, Lord, I can't simply say enough that I love you. I admire you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Be careful, Lord. Yeah.